Hi gang, so in this video I am going to be doing four looks, one palette, and I will be using the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This is a very deep, dramatic palette. There are lots of dark shades in here and a lot of the shimmers are quite mid-tone shades. Also, I want to apologize if the lighting is a little bit inconsistent in this video. I just got a software update to my phone and for some reason, the camera app isn't behaving the way it used to. So I've been trying to figure it out, but I can't quite, I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to be taking my Isom S33 and I'm going to go into this dark green shade right here. So I'm going to start right at the lash line and kind of build outward until I am happy with the shape. Using lighter pressure as I approach the outer perimeter of the um, the overall shape. So now that I've got that, I kind of stop my dark shade like uh, maybe before the one third of my inner eye. And that's usually where I stop my heavier colors. So I'm gonna grab the brush. A flat brush. This is the Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Shader. And I'm going to go in with that shade right above the dark green, right here. And I'm going to pack that on the brush and spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. And essentially just Put that in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to take it down just a little bit into the inner corner, like right at the um, tear duct area. Next, I'm going to take that bright yellow gold shade and I'm going to flip the brush around because we're kind of going in the same color family. Spray it and pop that kind of on my um, bottom double lid. back in with that bronze shade and finessing the shape so that it matches. So usually if I notice something uh, asymmetrical about the shape, I kind of go in and correct the other eye as well. So I'm kind of inching that dark green shade 
closer to the inner corner. take this brush this is the Smith 247 and I'm going to go in with some basic blending shades I usually try to have a palette of close to my skin tone shades but in various tones so browns a little bit more pink a little bit more orangey um, a little bit more yellow so that I can kind of mix what I feel is right for the eye look and in this instance, I'm kind of mixing these three shades together. And I'm just going to put that on the brow bone and kind of lightly blend that edge out. I'm also taking it into the inner corner of the eye and kind of using some circular motions for the inner corner as well. So I also do that for the edge here. And I just kind of try to diffuse the harsh, harsh edge. Darker colors, it sometimes takes a little bit longer because you want to get the shape just right and very symmetrical. Next up, I'm going to go back in with that dark green shade we use. And this time, I'm going to be using a... This is the Isam G27 brush. Tap off the brush. Kind of just line the bottom lash line. I usually like to kind of pull that shade a little bit further out when I get to this area of my eye. And then I just kind of taper it into the inner corner. And then I just leave this part kind of bare. Next, I'm going to take that same bronze shade that we used again. And, and that yellow shade kind of mixed together, that gold yellow shade. And pop that in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, then I'm placing that in the inner corner of the eye, right at the tear duct area. I'm going to take the shade right up here, which is kind of like a duochrome shift to it. Very interesting. Put that on the brush, spray that. This is the uh, 235 contour shader from Zoeva. And put that right there. Just to intensify the lightness of that shade. So this is the finished first look. Um, I didn't add any liner or mascara or lashes. I think this is a very dramatic look in itself, but if you want to add that extra drama to your lashes, of course you can. So. So for this look, I'm gonna first take this red shade that's right here, and I'm gonna put that in the middle of the lid. Um, I find that this technique works more for my particular eye shape. So I've already primed my lids, but I'm going to pop the red shade 
right in the middle and a little bit closer to the inner corner instead of smack in the middle. Doing the reverse version of the halo eye, the steps. So now that I've got the red shade down, I'm going to take a, a blending brush. This is the S33 from Esum again. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, the dark blue that's right under the bright shimmery blue. Packing that onto my brush and tapping it off. So I'm kind of creating a V shape on the outer corner of the eye. And as I get higher up, I'm using a lighter pressure so that it blends easily. Not easily, but more easily. corner of the eye and I'm going to be very careful because I don't have that much lit space to work with anyway. So I think I'm going to take a more detailed brush here. This is the Smith 256 going to go back into that blue shade and kind of really deepen up that dark blue in the inner corner. And also for the top, because of how pointed this tip is, it's easier for me to kind of cap the red with this shade without doing it too liberally. the flatter side of the brush and going back into that blue shade I'm going to lightly define the edges so that it kind of matches this okay so I'm going to intensify the red by putting it on my finger going it going in with that red shade on my finger and just patting it right where I want the most color payoff. In terms of blending the edges of this particular shade, this is the shade Yonder from Lethal Cosmetics. Let me just grab that. Take a little bit of that, tap it off and kind of try to diffuse the um, edges of this eyeshadow. So I think what you could do is take that shade on a very, very fluffy brush with very dispersed kind of bristles. Very lightly tap into that same blue shade, tap it off, and really do the minimal of blending, going very lightly over the edges. I think you might also be able to mix it in with a more flesh tone shade and try to create a blend that way. So very, very gently, very, very lightly, circular motions. And just keep going in the circular motion until it's kind of blown out in the way that you like. So in terms of the inner corner, I guess you could continue doing the same thing. It's a little bit more difficult for me here because of the limited space that is between the demarcation and my eyebrow. Okay, so for the inner corner of the eye, I think I want to take 
this shade right here. This is like a, I don't know, like a very light brown beige shade. And I'm gonna put it right here. Again, blending very round circular motions until the line is pretty much diffused. So now that I've kind of blended that, um, you can definitely see that the dark blue shade is a bit more muted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to re-intensify that blue shade again. Okay, so now that we've got that down, I'm gonna take this bright shimmery blue right here and place that in the inner corner of the eye. So I'm just taking it down into the tear duct and then a little bit past the inner corner of the bottom lash line. So like about here. Okay, next we're gonna take that red shade again using this brush. This is the G27. So I kind of want to mimic the effect on the top. So I'm gonna put the most amount in the middle. And then I'm gonna take a more defined liner brush. This is the Smith 212. I'm gonna take that same blue shade, that dark blue shade we had earlier, and I'm going to go under the lash line and really try to define this line. There we go. Also bringing it in a little bit here in a corner. So I'm just gonna clean up the rest of the eye. For the inner corner, I did add a little bit of a bright, colorful highlighter shade. And I took this shade, this is from the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream palette. And I patted it into the inner corner of the eye, just to brighten it up a little bit. Because as you can see, this look is very, very dark. So this is the second look. Added some false lashes and liner because I felt like it was so dramatic that it needed to uh, have the lashes to complete it all. If you do like a lot of drama, a lot of color, then try this one out. So I'm going to be taking this orange shade right here with my S33 brush again. And I'm going to pop that on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is the 232 Lux Classic Shader from Zoeva. And I'm going to go into this matte. Uh, yellow shade
I'm gonna take this brush. This is the 230 Lux Pencil from Zoeva. And I'm going to go back in with that orange shade and put it right under the lash line up to maybe there. So I'm just going to deepen up the outer edge a little bit, taking that same S33 brush and going in with this shade right here. This is kind of like a brown greeny shade. And I'm just deepening up the outer edge a little bit. So I'm gonna wipe off that shade and go back in with the orange to bring back the intensity of it on the outer corner of the eye, just so that it's a little bit better blended. Going back in with that mustard shade, tapping it off and kind of patting it where the dark brown green shade meets the uh, yellow. There we go. Okay, so if you like a totally matte look, you don't even have to put the shimmer in. I just personally like having a little bit of shimmer. Taking the 237 Detail Shader Brush and going into this very glittery shade right here. It's very foiled. Spraying it just a little bit. And placing it in the inner corner just a little bit. Taking a very detailed brush, Smith 212, going back in with that green brown shade, packing it on, tapping it off, and lining the eye. So, to finish off, I'm just going to clean off the S33 brush, that blending brush. And I'm just going to go on the outer perimeters of the orange shade and kind of buff that out. This is a little bit easier because this matte shade is quite easy to blend. And if you want, you can add a little bit of this shade just to diffuse that color a little bit more. Going back in with that orange shade just to even everything out. Okay, so this is the finished look and yeah, this is a little bit more wearable. It's a little bit more neutral, even though it might be a little bit dramatic for some people. Um, I added some mascara and I put on a lipstick from Ofra called Miami Fever. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Lux Smoky Shader, the 234 brush, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this shimmery teal shade. It's got little bits of gold flecks in it, and let's go in. Patting it on the outer corner of the eye. And 
for the inner corner, I'm going to take this brush. This is the 237 Detailed Shader from Zoeva. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, this orange shade next to the red, and I'm gonna spray it down because this particular shade is a little bit flaky. So with leftover stuff, with the leftover shimmer, I'm just going to try to bring it and mesh it with the teal shade a little bit. And then I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner of the eye, just above the orange shade and meet the teal shade at the top, bringing it in a little bit. Okay, so with a with a very um, loosely dispersed blending brush, I'm going to pat that into this shade right here, the dark blue next to the, sh um, the teal shade. Tap it off and very lightly stipple around the teal shade. Again, in circular motions. very lightly, very gently, just to disperse and diffuse the color. All the way up to the brow bone. I'm kind of bringing it in just a little bit. Um, I can also go in with that dark blue shade again, that matte blue again. Just so that it's deeper in this particular area. And to kind of feather it out along that angled line. So I still try to emphasize the V shape that is um, encapsulating the orange shimmer. So now I'm mixing the two shades, the initial teal shade that we had and this dark blue. Kind of defining that V a little bit more, but I'm going to diffuse it. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to take that teal shade once more and go in the outer two thirds of that eye. just to smoke it out a little bit, going back into this deep blue shade and intensify the line right below the lash. Now for the inner corner of the eye, we're gonna have to mimic that shade on top, which is the orange shimmer shade. Put that right here. And for extra intensity, I'm going to go in with this shade right here to finish everything off. So again, spraying the brush and placing it right there.
Okay, so this is the finished book. It's a little bit similar to the, uh, the green and gold one I did. The blue is translating a lot like a green on my eyes. So I added some lashes because I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. So here are some of my thoughts on the Metropolis palette after using it for the purposes of this video. When I first got it, I was really excited. I really enjoy... I, I really um, could appreciate the color story. I thought it looked really fun. And I still really like the color story. However, after playing around with most of the shades, I find that some of the dark shades which are matte have a very dry formula and they stain as opposed to blend if that makes sense. I find the shades that gave me a little bit of trouble were these two blue shades and this green shade. And to be honest, I feel like these two blue shades are almost identical to each other. Let me swatch it on my fingers so that you can see. So if you can see that, it doesn't, they don't really look that different from each other, to be honest. Um, the green shade is beautiful, but if you look at these two, they're, they're really very, very marginally different. The differences might be more visible on someone with a different kind of skin tone, a different undertone, but I don't know. All I can say is what I see on my own particular skin tone. And if you look there, it kind of, yeah, they, they just kind of really give the same vibe. Also, with some of the bronze gold shades, I feel translate very similarly on the eye. So let me just show you a few of them. So these three shades, they look almost identical in my opinion. I can't really see that much of a difference. So let me just swatch that for you on the back of my hand. There might be a little bit of a different nuance to them, but yeah, I don't think they all necessarily need it to be in the palette. So these three shades as well, I feel like they look quite similar, these two especially. This one is definitely a bit darker, but there is this very similar kind of vibe to it. So overall, my thoughts on this palette is that even though it's very, it has a very interesting color story, I feel that there are a lot of repeat shades and the matte formulas are not always consistent, especially for the deep dark shades. Those are a little bit drier. The shimmers are really pretty, however, some of them are quite flaky. For instance, this one and this one, you can smooth them out if you use it with a setting spray and you kind of go over it with a flat shader brush a few times. Um, but right off the bat, they are a little bit flaky. However, there are some shades in here that I really enjoy. For instance, this red, I really like this one, as well as this gold. This kind of duochrome shade is really beautiful. And I can work with the dark mattes. I do like the looks that I did come up with. However, it just seemed a bit more like it gave me a stain instead of a, I don't know, blend. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. If you do have this palette, how does it perform on your particular skin tone? Do you see enough variations in the shade to justify getting the entire palette? And let me just know your general thoughts on the eye looks. If you enjoyed the looks that I came up with, is there something that you felt was missing from this lineup? That's it for me and ciao for now.